Alright guys, I've got a simple video today. I've got all these conventional smoke detectors in my house. These little house smoke little dinky things. Um, I'm just going to go around and test them all. But instead of just hitting the test button, I've got my can of smoke. And we're going to go ahead and test it functionally. Uh, I've also got my meter here. So I'm going to check the batteries too and see how they're doing. See if they need to be replaced yet. Um, normally you're supposed to replace batteries at least once a year and test the things um, twice a year if I'm not mistaken and these should be replaced every 10 years but uh, because I'm going to go around and functionally test them I think I'm going to be okay. They're kind of past due for replacement but that's okay. It's not a huge deal. So let's get to it. Alrighty, first things first. I've got to check the battery and see how that's doing. So let's find out. Nine volts, exactly. That's exactly what we want. So we'll go ahead and... This one was replaced just recently, so we'll toss that back in, and it's good to go. Alrighty, and it's going to start chirping because I had pulled the battery out and I didn't press the reset button yet. But we're going to give it some test smoke. Perfect. And that one's good to go. The next one here, we're in 9.21 volts, which is still okay. Uh, a little bit high, but overall not a huge deal. So we are good to go with this one's battery. Ready and smoke. Again, next battery. A little low, but nothing to worry about. a little lower than I'd like and would probably need to be replaced soon. Alrighty, here we got one of the older batteries that uh, is definitely past its time, so this one's ready to be replaced. Alrighty, this one came in 8.5 volts, which is too low, so it needs to be replaced. This one, 8.39, needs to be replaced, and also the battery cover on this alarm is broken, doesn't lock in place properly, so that should probably be replaced too. Alrighty, in 8.68 volts, this one should probably be replaced as well. And finally, we've got the CO detector, which should be good to go. Alrighty, seems good to me. Alrighty, and that's it for today. All eight of these functionally passed. Two of them didn't get shown in the video for the smoke test, just for privacy of the people who were um, in the rooms at the time. So um, they all work. Four of them need new batteries. Four or five of them do, uh, but that's no huge deal. Otherwise, everything works. Everything's good to go. And uh, that's it for the video today. Very simple. We'll get back to these things next week. Thanks for watching.